What's going on guys, we are back once again, and we are going to be doing another movie review today. Now again, I've been kind of up and down trying to find different movies to watch, or when I have the time to watch something, I just click it on. So I came across this movie uh, not too long ago, and I decided to go ahead and make a review of it. I was kind of indecisive if I was, but what you're looking at right now is called the movie Lullaby. So first off, if you have not seen this film, I do recommend you check this movie out. This movie is very entertaining um i believe i watched it on i think tubi I, I, I think i'm not entirely sure i think i watched it on tubi or some something of that nature but what we have is where this new parents i'm just gonna say these new parents but it's mainly based around the mother the the mother she and her husband come home with a newborn baby and they are trying to get him to not only stop crying but to calm him down you know think normal stuff is what i would be assuming that parents would be doing uh to calm their newborn down now they the the wife she comes across where her sister unfortunately lost her baby and she's been in a uh, psychiatric ward and the husband's trying to work and the mother's trying to work and unfortunately she finds this book that her sister had and it contains some type of lullaby where if you sing it then the demon Lilith will come and take your child after a certain amount of steps that will happen it'll be replaced by a golem and then you never find your child again. So overall, this movie was entertaining. Um, it really left you on a suspenseful ride of not knowing what was gonna happen. And there was some uh, jump scares in here. There was things in here that really shocked me. I was kind of sitting here going, okay, how's this gonna end? And they really took it on a, another level. So I, I wanna say, um, they went further into, I would say, the, uh, the Jewish belief background of, um, because the, the wife was Jewish, the husband was converting out of respect and love for her, so there was a lot of, uh, back and forth on religion on, uh, this, so, again, it really has where it goes through three steps, and then you'll see the, uh, the, the demon children then you'll see uh this hag that tries to steal the baby and then Lilith comes and takes the baby now there is a huge fight um off and on throughout the entirety of the film of okay uh who's gonna win who's gonna win is the baby gonna be taken and then at the very last minute you get really i really don't want to spoil the movie for you guys you, you basically leave the movie going wow like like you cannot believe what just happened and this does have room for a sequel, especially with the way it ended. So if you guys have not seen this film, do go check it out before I say any more. Just because I'm going to get into spoiler territory. What happens is the main character, she gets so desperate out of not only trying to protect her son, but she gets so desperate where she gets her sister out of the uh, psychiatric ward to help her fight off this entity. And when she does, she finds out that her sister wanted her to get the uh, this book so that way she could read it off and then go after Lilith herself and try to get her son and ended up trying to give her nephew away to Lilith for an exchange so to speak. Now when this happens the sisters fight and then they go into the abyss of trying to locate Lilith and the babies and the sister does uh, save a, a baby what seems to be her nephew and try to you know redeem herself as what you seem to be but she does get killed by Lilith and then Lilith almost kills the family. They do stop her, but then they realize that they did not save their son. They saved their nephew. And now that the book was in the hands of the church, we they had to do some undermining so that way they'd be able to get the book back so they could resummon her and then try to be able to save their son. So it does have a little bit of a room for a sequel. I'm hoping it does get a sequel. Like I said, this is a very entertaining movie. If you guys like horror movies, you got something like Not So Serious, but a very suspenseful thinking type of thriller movie, then definitely check this out. It, it is one of those where you have to kind of pay attention just a little bit to kind of understand what's going on. But this movie kind of reminded me of, um, there, there was a movie that Jeffrey Dean Morgan played in. And it was a mix between The Unholy and then I think 
uh, I, I'm trying to remember. I know it was a horror movie that he played in, the, the Possession, and it had to deal with some stuff like that. So that's what it kind of reminded me of. So if you guys like movies like that, go check this movie out. It is, uh, like I said, a very decent movie. It's one of those where don't try to take it so seriously, but at the same time, enjoy it. So overall, guys, let me know what you think about it down in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, also say about subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video, and just let me know what you guys think. And again, if you enjoyed the movie, great. If you did not enjoy the movie, that's fine too. But either way, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments, and I'll see you guys as always on the very next one.